Hey everyone, uh, Kyle Bascom here with another tech tip on our W205 C300 Mercedes. While I'm doing this, we're actually gonna figure out together if this is going to work out for us. Long story short, uh, when we purchased the vehicle, what I noticed is the door window would not go up or down. Uh, it was up and fixed at the time that I was testing it and nothing worked. So I pulled the door panel off, noticed that the, um, the window control motor was unplugged. So I plugged it back in, operated the window. What happened is the window went down, it will not go back up. So I'm just gonna treat this situation like I would with any other vehicle uh, in order to get the window back up. I am gonna remove the door window motor, which is normally held on by two or three bolts. Once I remove the motor, that will relieve the pressure on the window regulator, and I should just be able to grab the window glass and put it up, just as a temporary uh, solution until I can actually troubleshoot the issue. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the door panel, and we'll go through removing the motor uh, together. Hope I get it right the first time. All right, so with these doors, uh, there's normally a T30 fastener here um, and another one in the corner that you're not going to be able to see on camera, but it's at an angle uh, in this direction. And once you're down here at this vantage point, you are going to be able to see it. So I'm going to come in here and uh, loosen this one up. So this is a uh, fairly coarse self-tapping screw. Um, it is going to fall out when I, when I remove the tool. And then the second one... Like I said, it's at a little bit of an angle. That feels like it's all the way out. That one actually did drop into this cavity, so that's good. And then it's just held on um, by a couple of clips around the perimeter of the door. Uh, normally, if you have that CTA uh, removal kit for the interior, that's super helpful. I'm just gonna get in there, start working my way around the perimeter of the door. And then uh, it slots into a channel over here. So I'm just gonna pull that forward. And that allows me to remove the door panel. This is the uh, channel that I was referring to. Uh, this is going to be for your door lock actuator. That pops right out. So what I did just to kind of show you, this was in a channel. I pulled it and then I was able to slide it out. Then we have uh, at, we'll call this the door control module. We have a couple of electrical connectors. So I'll pull this one out, depressing a tab and then I'm pulling it out. Just gonna slide this down. What I was trying to avoid, so I'm pressing this down. I was trying to avoid as much as possible pulling on the physical wires. Uh, so that's why I kind of turned the panel. Um, and then we have for our speakers. This is our inner door panel. This full assembly is actually uh, your panel, your vapor panel, your window regulator all in one. Hopefully that's far enough back that I can just wedge it back. If not, I'll take it all the way out, but I'm just trying to save time as I show you guys this step right here. So I've disengaged the motor drive gear from the window regulator. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, there's a channel that's kind of blocking me from being able to uh, find the window glass. So I'm going to remove it. There we are. Okay, that's the channel. This is our window glass. You can see it goes pretty far in the door cavity. So I'm hoping that I can grab, grab it and begin to lift it out of the channel. Whew. Not having much luck, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do um, I am going to grab a pair of pliers. I'm going to put something around the pliers like a shop towel so that I don't mar the glass. I'm going to give it another try. All right, so cannot stress enough how important it is to just uh, be careful. Definitely want to wrap this 
and paper towel or something so you don't mar the glass. As you can see, now it's coming up. Ugh. Now our glass is closed. Uh, if we want it to remain closed, you're simply just going to uh, push the motor back into the regulator assembly. That should keep everything locked in place. So this has been another tech tip. Hope you guys are really enjoying the tech tips that we put together for this W205 chassis. And if you have any questions or if there's any content that you want to see, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.